I am renting a car and I'm driving down to Jindal. I was going to do public transport, but I thought, no, I would rather be safe, so traveling by myself. One of my favorite parts about stopping at uh, rest stops in Korea uh, is the food, and this, this is my favorite. Little roast potatoes, yum. Okay, so I didn't actually have to stop. I came to the um, to the rest stop anyway because the area that I'm in has really low-lying clouds right now and that with the rain is not a good combination in Korea. But that gave me an opportunity to um, grab a straw for my milk so I can drink my milk while I drive. This is actually my second time visiting Jindo, but it's my first time driving. The last time I came down here was in 2017 for Chuseok, and I stayed with my friend Soan's family. So it was my friend Jill and I, it was our first Chuseok in Korea. So um, you can see here a short clip of Soan and I at a rest stop just talking to the camera. And when you get to the end of the video, you will actually see there has been a slight change since then. One thing you will notice about Koreans is that they speed. Your taxi driver will speed. It will be a 40 kilometer an hour zone and he'll be doing over a hundred. And I don't know why, they just do it. The bus drivers are the same, so it's almost like you're in a drag race every time you get on public transport, except for trains. The thing about that is that there are speed cameras all over the freeways. So you would think they'd get caught, but their navigation actually tells them when one is coming up. So while I was driving, my navigator would tell me that a uh, speed enforcement area would be coming up. 500 meters ahead, 110 kilometers from our mobile speed camera. So it gives you time to actually slow down to the speed limit and then right after that you'll notice everybody just takes off. So, <laughs> so there's a reason Koreans don't get speeding tickets in Korea but they definitely get them outside the country. Traffic was detoured uh, when we crossed the bridge into Jindo and that was to have our temperature checked before we could actually enter the city proper or um, drive around the island. That's pretty cool. It was a little scary to see um, because I didn't know what was happening but then once I realised temperature check, I was all It was all good. arrived in Jindal and um, so on thought he set his alarm so he would be awake when I got here but he set it for the morning <laughs> so, How can I see? Um, he was a bit surprised no you look fine thank you you're too kind <laughs> <laughs> so I'm here in Jindal for the weekend and um, yep bye <laughs> there will be more to come about my time in Jindo and I look forward to seeing you in the next videos. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe.